Instead of paying it on the front end, you're getting a little bit more on the back end. In perpetuity. Right. And look at that word. That's definition. Mr. Wonderful. Kevin there O'Leary. It there it is. Um, in perpetuity. In Restaurant Punk. What's up? Restaurant Punk. What's going on, guys? Not much, dude. What's nice up? to see you again. Man, this, I think this is the first time one of us has two guests at the same time. Huh. This is this is new for us. It's a little kinky. I'm not gonna ooh, lie. I feel ooh, like okay. I'm cheating. I feel like I'm cheating on the group right now. I mean, I'll start at what's that smell? Does anybody? <laughs> what is that smell right now? I apologize. That's why I'm sitting over here. <laughs> oh, is that why? I think that oh. is, uh, yes. You smell. It's a cold day. It's yes. a sweat. Anyway, I don't oh. want to lose anybody out there. Oh, apologies. But uh, we were talking about something before you guys came in, and we we're in the car, and I guess they finished filming the last episode, but. We always just, get in good conversation. I just want to throw it right into that. I just want to continue that. And the question is, if you were to sell your restaurant, your business, not the property, the business, the clouds compared to. That's where they say not to fall in love with the bricks. It's hard. It's, like, yeah. it's hard. You could yeah. buy the bricks. Yeah, you can, you buy can the make bricks. the business, keep the bricks. I know, but in then, a theoretical aspect. But um, it's it's hard because, you know, I'm short town. We're in a short town. Yeah. And the kitchen real estate, let's put it, is slim pickings, especially if you want to be on the beachfront. Absolutely. So the worth of a restaurant doesn't necessarily have to be calculated based off sales. It's what's the worth to the next person coming yeah, oh, into totally it. Totally true. So though. it's a little different where you come from. You guys come from a little inland. Yeah. So how do you calculate it? Like, so this is this is I've heard so many different aspects. <laughs> Let's try to Growing use some. Up, round, I grew up in the restaurant random, business. Yeah. I hear uncles are oh, retired, sold this restaurant <clears> for this much now. And sometimes you like boggle your mind and can never figure out exactly why. Because you're like, no way, no way he got that much for it. But or got very little for it in some circumstances. Truthfully, it was used to be one year's annual sales put a major, would put a valuation on it if it was property included. So there's always been the controversial topic that what's it worth, not including the property. That's what I'm asking right and, now. And, and I know, and I know where you're getting at, but it's, there's, there's a point to it. It's really also what anybody can afford to buy your business for, right? Well, I mean, that's relative because- Because if it doesn't you know make sense, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. So I, I guess in a nutshell, it's worth what someone will pay for it. Yeah. Um, and I think something hard, cause we've talked about this for years so many times, like, so you're selling someone in essence, a lease, right? You're selling them the opportunity to do business within those bricks, you Absolutely. know, in the building. So you're selling them the opportunity because yeah. a lot of times, right? Someone might buy your restaurant, but they're not doing a restaurant there. No, they, they're doing something else. So they want the property in, in, in Nick's, right. in Nick's view, they're buying a lease. He's calculating that off of. All right, what are my annual sit? But if they're not doing a restaurant, right. then why does that matter? Depends if they're who opening you're selling a, it to, Yeah, if really. they're opening a pet store, right? You might be valuing I'm um, selling you a restaurant. It has all this equipment, it has this, it has that. You're putting all that in your evaluation, yeah. but they're actually not opening a restaurant Depends. there. So like, it's very rare when a what retail you, space buys a restaurant yeah. business. Yeah. It doesn't make sense because the retail spaces are a dime a dozen. Right. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, and so, then at the like end for of the instance, day, if you got one corner that's that's I don't know a pet store, and the other one is the restaurant, right? You know, like where do you place this value, or one in between <clears throat> that's going to become vacant? Yeah, okay, I can go open there without. But it, you've seen some shitty locations that are doing, they're you know properties that are worth two three hundred thousand, right? That they're doing one point five million a yes. year. Yes. So now you're like. All, now I'm kind of stuck because I have a property valued at that, but my business is valued at that. But I can't sell my business for this much because then people are going to be like, you get torn. You get torn. It's a, it's a tough one. And I feel like there's a lot of predicaments that people come. Like I see a lot of valuations on re people selling restaurants. Well, I've heard I've heard gross sales. If you're not selling the real estate anywhere from 40 to 50 percent <clears throat> of those annual sales, I've heard uh, perspectives of like, hey, 10 years you know, return on investment, whatever that number may be to somebody, yeah. right? But I've seen... Also, does your name mean anything? Right. Are they buying the lease? Yeah. Technically, when they're buying your business, right, they're going to buy your name, right? They're going to yeah. buy that as well. 
But like, look, the business. Does your name mean anything? Like, if you guys wanted to sell a place and you wanted to let somebody keep the name. Yeah. Well, that's the part of selling the business. You're selling the name with exactly. it as well. But like the last bit, the, the first your name, business then, I right. bought. I didn't want the business. I got rid of the name. Yeah, I you, literally you threw out all the restaurant equipment because half of it didn't work. Right. The other half was about on its last leg. Of course. We got rid of all the tables, all the chairs, the floor. I mean, we redid the whole place, but the location is what we wanted. It's 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 a hard it's hard to do that. And it then, is. And I mean, I feel like that's hard in the negotiation, right? Because the person you're buying it from is selling you. They're placing their valuation on what they think it's worth based on what they were doing there. You might be buying it for a completely different reason. I don't want your name. I don't want your kitchen equipment. I don't want this. I don't right. want that. So, so now you guys are coming from two separate points in bargaining, right? Like, yeah. Well, I'm selling you all the chairs, included all the. I don't want your tables and chairs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you I don't said actually. Not the property. Does that mean that you were never the property owner, or does the restaurateur that's there intend to be, remain the landlord? Well, that's where the money is. No, I get it. That's and where it, the money is. At. But that's where you place the valuation. Like, take that. To that guy yeah. selling that, to, to him selling his business, be like, look. I'm selling it to this guy, but I'm going to sell it to him cheap because he's going to be a good tenant. He's going to be there yeah. for the next 20 years and I don't have to worry about and it. And this is where creative. Yeah. The creative creative, financing of it. creativeness right. comes in. Right. Right. And Instead of you selling your business for lease. trying to sell it for a million bucks or right. 500,000, be like, you know, well, I'll give it to you for 200. Right. But I Maybe want. Maybe you charge him a thousand or two more a month in rent because, you know. Maybe They're getting do. it cheaper. You know they can survive yeah. and pay it. Because you know your business better than anybody. Yeah. Instead of paying it on the front end, you're getting a little bit more on the back end. In perpetuity. Right. And Look at that word. That's Definition now. Mr. Wonderful, Kevin there O'Leary. It there it is. Um, in perpetuity. In perpetuity. And that's the thing. This that's guy, what you want. Man. You want some residual income My coming God. in right. no, over sure. time. Again. I want to be the I want to be the bank financing the house. That's what I want. And that's what I think that Look, is. Look, a lot of like our, you know, our ancestors on our on the, on the Greek side, right? The Greek guys, the Greek diner owners, you know. You guys, don't, <laughs> don't bring yeah, me yeah, into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you, you don't you. <laughs> you guys got me. The, you're you an got adopted. Pizza shops yeah, and, you yeah know, you're right. Brick layers in your, yeah, in your ancestry, yeah, whatever. But yes. uh, listen, that's the whole thing. We pay off the business. We, we're going to collect the rent. We're going to go to Greece. Yeah. <laughs> right? And... Their in Greece, was to become a landlord. if you make forty thousand American dollars in Greece, you you can look oh, great. Dude, you're great, good. you're so good. You're great, so yeah. good. But so good. have you? But would you do that? If my wife let me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I meant sell the business. <laughs> oh God, no, like to go to Greece <laughs> to make uh, with a percentage. Nick's answer to everything: Would you do that? if my Stop. wife lets me? I don't know. Stop. <laughs> Irene's gonna yeah. love you for this. You, you want to go out to dinner <laughs> tonight? Wife, I mean, if way. my wife lets me, I guess we'll. You know, that's. It's the guy's standard answer, I tell you. No, in 20 great. years. That's Nick. yeah. What what would be your preference, right? So we talked through different a couple different ways of what would you what would you rather do? You know, sell it outright for a dollar figure at a time. You know, let's just use your 50% ratio, right? Like you have a business that does five hundred thousand dollars a year in sales. So you want to go fifty percent of that? Would you rather sell it for two fifty? Would you rather sell it for a hundred and try to get points off gross? Would you rather try to get more on the rent if you were the? You I'll tell know, you what. Or, I never or, or hold on, hold on, hold on. Hear me out on this. Would you rather not sell your business, give it to somebody for one year, two year, three year lease at a time, and get? That's kind of what you were saying on the second Get a percentage too. of gross. Yeah. Because then you still have the ability to sell the business down the road, down the road if you want to, or sell it to them, or you know what I mean. It but just, again, I'll always say, and it does. Like if it you means, sold your business, on the operator. If you sold your business and you got ten percent of gross, or let's say eight percent of gross, right? Yeah, that that's all they pay is eight percent right. of gross. Would that and your mortgage, if you have a mortgage on there, could they survive? Right. Yeah, they'll do well. They'll do well. They right? do well. But it didn't cost them a dime to get no, in. No, it's a creative way. It really is. And they're paying all your bills. Yeah. And you're getting a but check. E even earlier today, we were having discussions on, you know, it's it's getting into the hurdle of like, is that person somebody who's a new business owner going into business? Is it somebody who's coming from another business? You got to interview them. You got to. Yes. You got to go through all that. Yeah. I, I, I'd I, rather just sell it. Agreed upon number right up front. 
take I my money, call it a day, walk away. Only because I don't think no I don't one's going to run it as good as you. I don't think I could stay out. I I will be less egotistical and say that I'm <laughs> sure people would run it better than me. <laughs> wow. Uh, I what I will say is I couldn't I couldn't stay out of it. Yeah. I'd rather have a clean break and walk away <laughs> than yeah. to sit there because right, like if I have a vested interest in it. If I'm getting points, right? If I'm getting 6% of gross or something. Right. On a weekly if, basis. If I'm in there and I don't see them running it well, <laughs> like I have a financial Obligate. tie to yeah. it, right? So I'm going to, I know myself, I'm going to have to say something. <laughs> and then I'm going to get myself jammed up, right? Yeah. Someone's going to end up throwing a thing of <laughs> ketchup at me. I don't you know. There's me. something yeah. about you know getting, me. There's yeah. something about get, getting a paycheck over time. time. Oh, no. Wait, I love and the that, idea. And I'm you saying, get interest on for it. For me, for me, it wouldn't work. Yeah. For me, I'd have to, I'd have to get my money and I'd have to move on. Just because I don't think I could stay out of it. If I was business. selling something for a hundred grand and they're like, well, I can I think give you 50 is, now, I'll give you 50 over the next five years. I'll be like, okay, but at what's six and a half percent. Yeah. I think holding note, I think that's a little different. I think anything, cause right. Your only real exposure there is that they stay in business long enough to pay you. Right. But I think when you're still tied to the business off of sales, you're still tied off of their success. Yeah. That's where I don't think I could. It's tough. Hold it's a, myself. That's why I said again, just being real with myself. I'd, I'd like. So you're like, you know what? Let me like, sell wow, it. You're costing me. X That's amount all you guys now. Yeah. Where's my money? Here's my check. Peace. Yeah, and I'd That's rather it. go. Yeah, open something different because I, I I won't be able to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Come on, you guys know me. I can't keep my mouth shut. That's the quietest. You're I've a ever busy been. guy on the side anyway. So yeah, right. Yeah, so that's. So are that's, you, that's what I, I don't know. I, I, th th I think for me, it just depends on the scenario. Because right? I'm, I'm looking at you because I know you're going to retire. At what point in my life am I at? You know, that's like, what where I was my going kids? for. Where, where am I on a personal side set up financially? You know, because all those are going to play. A huge but you role. have a partner as well. I do. So and it's you not, can always be aligned differently. Too. Yeah. Or the partner could be like, I'll buy your share out. Yeah. Or you could be like, I'll buy yours. Or you both yeah. agree to. I know, but where do you play that? That that's where it becomes even more challenging figuring out evaluation because always when it comes to partnerships, it doesn't matter if it's my current partnership or past partnerships or partnerships that I witnessed growing up. It's there's always a conflict of what it's what it's valued at that point. Always, that's why I think it's actually a, a great thing to think that there's actually on a consultant per aspect. There's a lot there for you to. To work off of coming up with 15 different plans to sell your business. Yeah. Do, do you think you'd be more successful in a sale having an intermediary decide what your business is worth? Or do you think a one to one? Like, do you think that the majority of people can not fall in love with the bricks and give an honest valuation of what I their place is worth? I think that it's going to be, it's going to be different with everybody that looks at it. Like, yes. you can look at one of our restaurants here with the sales that it does here and put it up in, I don't know, Philadelphia. Yes. And then they're going to look at it and be like, well, this is failing. But then you see it down here and you're like, it's doing good for down here. Right. It's doing really well. And don't forget, our thing is three months, you know? Yes. But we can sell that here for one, two, three hundred thousand. But in Philly, they're just going to be like, okay, we're done and just walk away. Right. It's not going to, it's not the same. And I think different areas bring different things. So when people come here to look for a restaurant to open, they're like, wow, there's a lot for sale. Right. They're not just available. Right. Because it's a commodity. It's hard. It's not a commodity, but it's I say it's, it's hard it's to get. It's probably the hardest business to put a value on it in. It really by is. Far. It really is. And, and most people will base it on smaller, sales. Intermediate sized yeah. business is the hardest business to put So seller and buyer it. both kind of need to be sales, on the same page. Sales, yeah. location, though. It's sales location. So you can't, it, look, you're going to put a number on it. Someone's going to bite at some point. It's yeah, going to they're going to make an offer. It might they're not gonna be make that a price. Walk. Exactly. And, you know, it's okay. It's okay because you know what it's worth. So, and you know what it can do potentially yeah, as well. But, yeah. But we've seen people go in on the beachfront, open up, and then close a year later. Right. And dump $150,000 that they just lost. They just walked away. They don't even sell it because they're in such a hole they have to go. Right. But... I don't know. It's tough. So anybody out there trying to sell their business, uh, any words of advice, Bobby? <laughs> I, I, I would say be very realistic. Yes. yes. And sell before you have to. Yes. You're always so loud. Because, yeah, you got to stay a little <laughs> ahead. If you want to sell, you should start thinking about that the year before and start putting some Years in place. before. Because if you, yeah. So be logical and and. I like it. I like the, the don't wait till in. the last minute. Yeah, Definitely. I like, you can't operate I like from that. a position yeah. of weakness. Um, yeah, because if you don't sell, be prepared to operate. 
Yeah, there you go. That's so, perfect way. Bye. Guys, thank you for joining me. Yeah, hey. Thank you for having thank us. What an interesting conversation today. Yes. There's yeah. a lot. There's definitely more avenues we could have gone, but nutshell. That's Can it. I say it? Can I say it? You, you could Re- say. Restaurant punk out. Re- well, I need more. <laughs> Restaurant punk out. Smell <laughs> 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 funky. That's not good. <laughs> You smell go. funky? I smell funky. I'm glad I'm sitting over here. <laughs> yeah. What you got? What do you want? <laughs>